Hey everyone, it's finally here, the season finale of The Villain's Lair. And in this episode, we have a song and we'll get some answers to some of the questions you may have had going all the way back to episode one. We wanted to give an extra special thank you to Raycon for sponsoring this video. But more about that after the video. So grab your popcorn or your apple and here we go. Unbelievable! Someone will pay for this! What the devil? What happened? She failed. Everybody just calm down. Where is the sundial? It wasn't there. Someone took it. Taken? By whom? Triton. The Sea King? Yes. He apparently sent someone to the Academy to retrieve it for himself. Whoever it was told Megara that the sundial needed to be protected from a great evil. We've been thwarted again. I must say, it's rather coincidental. Too coincidental, perhaps? I fear someone amongst us has divulged our plans. How else would Triton know? A traitor! Forgive me, but why would any of us sabotage our chance for revenge? I, I tell you, this whole thing smells fishy. Fishy? You can't mean... Ursula. That is not possible. Indeed. She was banished by the very people in this room. I remember well sticking her tentacles where they didn't belong. A collective effort on all our parts. Only with all our powers combined could she finally be imprisoned. And the only way she could be released. Blasted sea witch must have slithered her way out. It's impossible. The curse we placed on her was absolute. All our powers combined. What if I told you there was a way to undo the moment your trouble began? <laughs> Dr. Facilier, indulge me. An eye for an eye, a wrong for a wrong. A time reversal spell, was it not? <laughs> You... Blast and barnacles! I'll have your head for this! Off with his... Head. How dare you! Off with your head! We were merely pawns in your little game to release Ursula. Never show your cards, you lose the game. Understand there are consequences to treason. Treason? I offered y'all a chance to rewrite the past. <laughs> Too good to pass up. I commend you on your art of deception, Doctor. But I assure you, the penalty will be severe. <laughs> Going somewhere? Something you wish to share with us? <laughs> you don't think I would go near that sea witch? Salt water is terrible for your skin. My dear woman, there's nothing better for the complexion than the salt of the sea air! I don't think that proves your point. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Stop taking everything so seriously. Oh, darlings, I'm just here for the hors d'oeuvres. I know nothing about Facilier tricking all of you into releasing Ursula so she could get the sundial for herself. <laughs> I'm just guessing, darlings. What kind of world do we live in where you can't trust villains anymore? Shame. Why release Ursula? She is, after all, to blame for much of our misfortune. Because we need her, your majesty. Lies. The sea witch has tempted you with her lies. Why send me on a fool's errand into that wretched academy if you knew where it was all along? Because he thought it would be fun. What is the meaning of this? An uninvited guest, no doubt. Easily dealt with. My dear girl. However did you manage past the lion and hyenas? Indeed. Where did you come from? From the shadows. Thank you, Shadow Man. Allow me to demonstrate how spies are dealt with in Agrabah. Oh, I wouldn't do that if you want to see that precious sundial again. So the Sea Witch sends a mere girl to deliver a message. She must care very little for your life. Ursula sent her. And why is a... 
lovely creature such as yourself working for that hideous sea hag. Quite lovely indeed. It must have been no trouble for someone such as yourself to steal that dial. I'm sure those imbeciles welcomed you with open arms. You shall return to Atlantica and inform your mistress to surrender the sundial or surrender her life. We'll make calamari out of her. Oh, I love calamari. What's calamari? A delicacy in noble circles, something of which she would be unfamiliar with. You will inform Ursula that she will suffer more than banishment in our hands this time. Why don't you tell her yourself? Miss me? Swoggle me eyes! <laughs> and you said she was beautiful. <laughs> I must say, I much preferred your earlier permutation. Where is the sundial, sea witch? Safe and sound 20,000 leagues below. And that's where we'll stay until we make a little deal. A deal? Of course! You can't get something for nothing. Such confidence. Although foolishly placed. Enough of this! Kill her! And lose your precious sundial! Besides, you scallions need me! Need you? Ha! I wasn't aware of your fondness for jokes! She's telling the truth. I had to have y'all free her for more than just a little reunion. <laughs> I knew y'all wouldn't do it willingly, so I had to get a little creative. You dare to- Easy now. This is gonna take all of us to make it happen. Each one of you possess something that we're gonna need. But there's a little more to the story of the sundial that I <laughs> forgot to mention. Oh? Only a direct descendant of a god <laughs> can awaken its power. That would make her the, the daughter of Poseidon himself. So I suggest you swim in line with me or your little plan will fail. No revenge, no happy ending, zip. It's time Ursula took matters into her own tentacles. Destroy me? No, you should fear me. Your fate rests with me now. I've waited for years to have this moment. Turn that lesson is learned. Now I hold the key, cause only a fool underestimates me. And I, for an eye, a wrong for a wrong. Never forgive and never forget. This is your last regret. What goes right? Hi again, we hope you all enjoyed season one of The Villain's Lair. Now you can watch it top to bottom whenever you want. Also, the official Villain's Lair season one album is available now. It has exclusive content, including the reprise of What Goes Around Comes Around, and also the original demo tracks that Tony and I sang when we wrote them. Don't judge us. Speaking of music, let's take a second to talk about our sponsor, Raycon. Raycon sent us these really cool E25 wireless earbuds that we've been trying out for the past week. We love them. We're obsessed. Okay, so for those of you that don't know, Lane does all of the mixing for all of our music, and he's been doing it for like 20 years. It's true. I've tried all types of ears and headphones, some of the most expensive ones on the market, and I can honestly say these E25s are some of my new favorites. We were on a flight the other day, and I had them in, and I could not believe how much isolation they had. So where are you from? I'm here visiting my sister-in-law. What are you here for? Do you like traveling? Oh, I 
love travel. What kind of books do you read? And if you're like me that likes a lot of bass. Only bass. Uh, you have to try them, they're awesome. They start at about half the price of any of the other premium wireless earbuds on the market. Their newest model, the Everyday E25 earbuds, are the best ones yet. With six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and more compact design that gives you a nice, noise isolating fit. It also comes in super fun colors, including my favorite, black. Black's not a color. It's a color of my soul. Celebrities like Snoop Dogg and Brandy are obsessed with Raycon. The compact carrying case can charge earbuds up to four times on a single charge. Click the link below in the description to get 15% off. Thanks so much to Raycon for sponsoring this video and an extra special thanks to our patrons. We couldn't make videos like this without you. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.